because charging is not easy in Barcelona. It is important that you calculated the number of hours of your travel time because it will consume the battery of the car and you don't want to run out of battery in getting lost. It's important that you carry all the necessary documents. Okay, of course, you need to carry your driver's license. Second, the car registration. And the number three, insurance. If you're a tourist here in Barcelona, if you don't have an NIE, it is best to bring also your passport. If someone checks, you have all those documents. Make sure that you check your plugs. These are the plugs that you need to connect when you're charging your car. It's like charging your phone. There are two types of charging plugs that are very common here in Barcelona. I'm gonna write it down here and I'm sharing a link also where you can check it. There are apps that you can check that will tell you how the charging station works. The parking area for the charging stations are usually color green. If you have to be aware of the parking regulations, some parking will ask you to pay, but some are free. It's better to bring cash in your credit card Make sure that it's working, like internationally working. Consider car sharing. My friends and I um, share the car rental, but if you're traveling with your family here in Spain, you can check out these two car rentals that I'm sharing now in my link and I'm sharing it also in my caption. Check it out. It is best to bring food by the grocery and Hello Mercadona or prepare some food from your house. This is me stress eating because I don't know how to charge a car. Yeah, I can still do that. It's a warning. Electric cars are usually quiet. When you're driving, people around you, they cannot hear it and they, they're not aware that you are approaching. Make sure that you follow the traffic rules. So this is me, Alec, and I hope this video helped you travel and trip here in Barcelona, Spain. Subscribe and like my channel. Hasta luego.